Ostende nonis Domine misericordiam tuam alleluia. Et salut parem tuum da nobis alleluia. Domine exaudi orazione mea. Et clamor mea salve Deia. Dominus vobiscum. Et cum spiritus tuo. Oremu. Exaudi nos Domine sancte pater omnipotens et inter ne Deus. Et mitere dignari sanctum adelum tuum de celis, qui custodiat, poveat, protegat, visite, atque defendat omnes habitantes in hoc habitaculo, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen.
Dominus Fobiscum. Sequencia Sancti Evangelii, Secundum Marcu. In illo tempore, Maria Magdalene, et Maria Jacobi et Salome, emerunt aromata, et venientes ungerunt Iesu. Et valde mare una sabatorum veniant ad monumentum, ortoiam sole, et dicevant ad invicem, quis revolvet nobis lapidem, Abostio monumenti, et respicientes viderunt revolutum lapidem, erat quipe manius valde, et introeontes in monumentum, viderum juvenem serentem in dextris, opertum sola candida, et obstu puerum, quidicit ilis, nolite, Expavecere, Iesum Quaritis Nazarenum Crucifixum, Surrexit, non est hic, Ece locus ubi possuerunt eum. Sed ite, dicite discipuli seios et Petro, Quia precedit vos in Galilea. Ibi eum videvitis, sicut dixit vobis. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This Mass is offered especially for the intentions of Mary Bird. Now, Easter Monday, that's tomorrow, there will only be one Mass, well, there's only one thing scheduled tomorrow, one Mass at 9 a.m. Our regular confession and Mass schedule will resume on Tuesday at the regular times. Friday, there will be a viewing of the movie Risen in the Parish Hall at 4 p.m. All are invited. And Saturday, in honor of Divine Mercy Sunday, there will be a rally held in the parish courtyard right outside. The rally will begin immediately after the 9 a.m. Mass. The Catholics' read group will meet in the parish ministry center following that Divine Mercy rally on Saturday. And of course, on behalf of the Dominican Friars at Holy Family and the parish staff, I wish you and your families a happy Easter. And in case you didn't know, we also will continue our uh, Dominican Rite Mass on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. He who never ate his bread in sorrow, watching and waiting for the morrow, knows ye not, ye heavenly power. Since Holy Friday Eve, under the deathly pall of death, we have been watching and waiting patiently for the morrow, like the holy women at the tomb, like the disciples mourning in Jerusalem, afraid seemingly alone. But something stirs. The stone has been rolled away. And now the new day's dawn breaks upon us. So my brothers and sisters, Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us then feast with joy in the Lord. Rejoice. But who is this us that the prayer says can partake in his feast? Do not hear the good news. We have just sung this as well. Agnus redemit ovis. That is, the Paschal Lamb has redeemed the sheep, the lost sheep, us. Do you not believe the good news yet? There is a classical hierarchical scheme for the church, of the universal church, and that is the church triumphant in heaven, the church suffering in purgatory, and the church militant here on earth. This tripartite church, as one wit puts it, is made up respectively 
of all saints in heaven, all souls in purgatory. And as we can see all around us, all sorts here on earth. But do not let that worry you, my brothers and sisters. Do not mourn at what sort of person you were or your condition, no matter how lowly or how miserable. For I proclaim to you that heaven likewise has her very own motley crew of inhabitants. For while that holy season of Lent focused on our journey through the desert to a conversion of heart, I tell you today that penance is abolished. For wherever you were on the journey, or wherever you came on that journey, does not matter, not on this glorious day. Today, the destination matters, for Christ shows his pity and mercy toward all. So did you come late to the wedding feast of man and God? Were you just baptized? Then rejoice, for the Lord in his grace opened the gates of paradise first to that condemned thief on his own cross, who knew our Lord, but a fraction of a day before he died. He has saved a spot for you at the banquet. Have you been on the journey from the beginning of life? Then well done, good and faithful servant, but do not be jealous, for your reward in heaven will likewise be great. There is more than enough for everyone. Rejoice at your brothers and sisters who have just arrived, for they were dead and they are now truly alive. And our Lord welcomes the first as much as he does the last. And you, have you hidden yourself from the Eucharistic feast because you are a sinner? Well then rejoice, for the Lord has given the power to forgive sins to your fellow sinners, your priests, all of us unworthy to take on that mantle. And take your place with me at the most solemn celebration. For here I, the priest, will serve you at table, serve you, Christ's divine and glorified body, let the priest cleanse you of all sins so that you may eat, eat. But you say, I have sinned much. I cannot bear my shame. I have fallen into lust. Then take your place at the feast next to the sinful women. For here, their praises are sung throughout heaven and in the world. And St. Mary Magdalene, whom we call the sinful woman. In the Greek church, they call her also Iso apostola, that is, she who is equal to Christ's own apostles, for she was chosen to first reveal the resurrection as a church just sang in joy with the voice of the apostles begging her, tell us, Mary, what did you see? And be not jealous if you have kept yourself pure until the very end, for you too have a blessed reservation with all the glorious virgins, with the blessed mother of God herself. And have you been a coward? Have you been afraid to proclaim Christ? And come and take a seat next to St. Peter. Be not like Judas who despaired. For the man who fled and feared and denied Christ thrice is now the rock upon which Christ built his church. And if you have proclaimed him without fail, then come. Sit with John the Baptist and all the glorious confessors and martyrs. Well done. And have you wounded Christ's body and persecuted his church? And join us here with St. Paul, persecutor of Christ himself and his people. And do not envy if you are one suffering for persecution for his namesake, for your reward in heaven our Lord has promised is great. Now are you ashamed of your poverty, of your miserable state? And poor Lazarus dwells in the bosom of Father Abraham in heaven, so he too awaits. Are you worried because you are rich and cannot seem to enter the eye of the needle? Then join others, like St. Matthew the tax collector, or St. Joseph of Arimathea who gave Christ his costly tomb. Share your earthly riches, for the vaults of the riches of heaven have been thrown open to all. And the poor rejoice, and the rich are astounded and amazed as the treasure of heaven is set before them, that satisfies all of them infinitely beyond the dreams of avarice. And are you too young, you say, then sit with the multitude of the holy innocents, who spoke more eloquently by their blood than all the ancient teachers of Israel. Do you feel you are too old and too weak? Blessed Simeon, who waited his whole life for the Christ child, now awaits you together with Christ the God-man. 
So do you mourn for someone else in the tomb, a relative, a loved one? Then blessed are you. Join the holy women, Martha and Mary, who mourn for their brother. For you too will be comforted. And behold your loved ones with your own eyes, in your own flesh. For Christ, through his own death, has blazed a trail through death. And he has been given the keys over death. He has taken death's final and bitter sting out once and for all. Do not look for him or for whomever he loves in the tomb. For he has risen as he said, Alleluia. And those who have kept the Lenten fast and end them now. For Christ the bridegroom is here. The wedding feast of the Lamb has truly begun. You who have failed at your fasting, you too come. Do not even think of denying yourself, for no one is allowed to fast on this day, this most glorious day, which the Lord has made the new day of rest, the new Sabbath, the blessed day on which Christ is risen, and all his entire church in heaven and on earth rejoices. To Christ, the victor king, be all glory and power forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Dominus Vobiscum. Oremus. Pero mi a secula seculo horu. Dominus vohobisco. Sohor sum cohorta. Grazie a sagamus. Domino Deo nostro. Veredin de meiustemes, ecum et salutare, equidem domine omni tempore, senic hoc potissimum gloriosius predicare, cum pasca nostrum imulatus est Christus, ipse enim verus est agnus, qui absolit peccata mundi, 
Primortem tua nostram moriendo destruxi, et vitam resurgendo reperavi, et ideo cum angelis et archangelis cum tronis et dominationibus, cum conque milicue militia celestis et cercitus, in un gorietu e canimus, sine fine dicentes. Sanctus, Sanctus,
Ja bi skokao je prekat Horibus. Eromia secula seculo horu. Oremu, receti saitaribus moniti, et divine institutione formati, ademus dicere, Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat venium tuum, Fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo ed in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum, da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem. Per omnia secula seculo horu. Pax domini sit semper vobiscu.
Pasca nostru în Evolatus Est Christus, Aleluia! Ica pe ea că se lănure în asinul sinceritatis, evaitatis, Aleluia! 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 Dominus Povistu, Ore, Spiritum Domine, Nobis Domine, Tu egalitatis in funde, Cut post sacramentis pascalibus satiasi, Tu facea pietate concorde, Domine nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium Tuum, In unitate ei uste, Amen. Dominus Povistu, et tu spiritus tuo, ite misa et, Alleluia, Alleluia. Deo gracias, Alleluia, Alleluia. Dominus Pobiscum, Inicium Sancti Evangelii Secundum Ioanum. In principio erat verbum, et verbum erat apud Deum, et Deus erat verbum, hoc erat in principio apud Deum. Omnia per ipsum facta et sunt, et sine ipso factum est nihil. Por factum est, in vito, in ipso vita erat, et vita erat lux hominum. Et lux in tenebris lucet, et tenebre eam non comprenderum. Fuit homo missus adeo, cui nomen erat Ioannes. Hic venit in testimonium, ut testimonium periverete lumine, ut omnes creren perirum. Non erat ille lux, et ut testimonium periverete lumine. Erat lux vera, cui illuminat omnem hominem, venientem in huc mundum. In hunc, in mundo erat, in mundus per ipsum factus est, in mundus eum non cogniobit. In propria venit, et sui eum non ceperunt. Cocoratum et ceperunt eum derides potestatem filios dei fieri, his qui crerunt in nomine eius, qui non ex sanguinibus, neco ex voluntate carnis, neco ex voluntate viri, sed ex Deo nati sunt. Et verbum caro factum est, et habitabit in nobis et vidimus gloria meius, Gloriam quasi unigenitia Patre, plenum gratiae e veritatis.